that you've had pop-ups yeah. around the way. We were lucky enough to come to one a couple of years ago now. Yeah. Allen okay. Street and... I don't know. I don't know. It's like, uh, probably years ago. Like after CompuServe times, but before <laughs> peak Twitter. I think that's fair to say. Right. <laughs> uh, but you have a, a new one that's coming up. We do. We do. Yeah, uh, the first weekend of May. Um, we, we had actually planned for it to be <laughs> the opening weekend of the Avengers movie. Uh, 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 but, you should uh, talk to Pete about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, we, we're, we're still going to have it. It's going to be... Uh, the third, fourth, and fifth, at the least, um, down in Tribeca on Warren Street. Oh, cool. And um, we're going to be featuring uh, Kirby's work for 2001. So he, he did a, an adaptation of, mm -hmm. the, of the movie that was printed in a large format, and he also did 10 issues of a uh, regular old comic book. So. So does any of him come through it, or is it all Kubrick, or is it a mix of the two? The adaptation is is pretty. It, it does a good job of, of adapting the movie as as well as any movie adaptation can be, I, in my opinion. And and it's got some great visuals at the end. The coloring work is is actually pretty pretty sweet. Um, it's it's the comic books where where Jack just kind of goes off and extrapolates on this on the idea. Specifically, going to bring that up because I feel like things like the comedy challenge are fun, and it's always fun for to watch uh, writers and artists play in somebody else's style. Mm -hmm. But often, I feel like, particularly when it comes to the new gods thing on the DC side, at least. It's a lot of spinning their wheels. You know, they're not really adding anything new. And what I think almost is the best tribute to somebody like Jack Kirby is something like Mr. Miracle that adds new information and comes at it in a different way, where it uses these creations but pushes the characters forward and plays with them. That's something that I think, as a creator in a sequential medium like comics, you want to see. You're throwing those things out there into the sandbox so people can play with them. You don't want them to be preserved in their box like action figures. You want to see people, not to continue the metaphor, but like break the toys, play with the toys, come up with their own toys and add them in together. And that's why I think something like that is so great.